Good morning everyone and welcome to the second session of online class. This is the second video of chapter 2 and in this video let us discuss about the graphical representation of linear motion. All those who have not attended the first part properly may not understand much from this session. Let us begin. Previous class we have studied about three vector quantities number one displacement, number two velocity and number three acceleration. Today let us study about the graphical representation of these vector quantities. What is linear motion? We have already studied. When a body is moving in a straight line path, the motion of a body is called as linear motion. It can also be called as rectilinear motion. This linear or rectilinear motion can be analyzed with the help of three types of graphs. Number one displacement time graph, number two velocity time graph and number three acceleration time graph. Please note, when motion of a body is linear, the direction of motion does not change. So displacement time graph and distance time graph are same. Similarly, velocity time graph and speed time graph are same. Please do remember this. Always in any of the graphs we are discussing today, time will be plotted on x-axis. So number one, displacement time graph. As I have told earlier, time is taken on x-axis and displacement is taken on y-axis. Mainly, there are three types of displacement time graph. Number one, when body is stationary. Number two, when body is moving with uniform velocity. Number three, when body is moving with variable velocity. Number one, when body is stationary. Stationary means still. So, the body is not moving. For example, if a car is 30 meter away from the starting point and is still there for the next 20 seconds, then displacement is equal to 0. After 5 seconds, body is at 30 meter. After 10 seconds, body is at 30 meter. And after 15 seconds, body is at 30 meter. And even after 20 seconds too, the body is at 30 meter. So, if we plot a graph representing this, we will get a straight line parallel to x-axis as you can see. So, please note, if a displacement time graph is a straight line parallel to x-axis, then always we can say that body is stationary and velocity of body is equal to zero as it is not moving. Please listen carefully. It is not possible to draw a graph having straight line parallel to y-axis because it means that body is moving without change in time. We know that is not possible. We can't stop time. So no graph is possible for displacement time with a straight line parallel to y-axis. Now second type, when body is moving with uniform velocity. We have studied that in uniform velocity, a body is traveling equal distance in equal interval of time. For example, a car moving 30 meter in one seconds, again 30 meter in next second, and again 30 meter in the next second and so on. So if we plot a graph for displacement and time, it will be uniform. As you can see, first plot x-axis and y-axis then write time on x-axis and displacement on y-axis write down the values in x-axis and y-axis then draw the graph at 1 second 30 meter then 2 seconds 60 meter at 3 seconds 90 meter and so on we can see that displacement time graph is a straight line inclined to the time axis so please remember few things number one if graph is a straight line inclined to x-axis, body is moving with a uniform velocity. 
Number two, for a body moving with uniform velocity, displacement is directly proportional to time. Number three, velocity of a body can be obtained by finding slope. And what is slope? To find slope, divide the difference of y coordinates of two points on a line by the difference of the x coordinates of those same two points. This is a mathematical term and you study this in mathematics. So I am not discussing much about this. Number four, greater the slope, that is more inclined is the straight line, higher is the velocity. Number five, if slope is positive, it represents motion away from the origin and if the slope is negative, it represents the motion towards the origin. Now, the third type, when body is moving with variable velocity. We know variable velocity means body covers unequal distance in equal interval of time. For example, a car moves 30 meter in one second and then 10 meter in next seconds and 100 meter in the third seconds and if we plot a displacement time graph it will be a curved line so if you see a displacement time graph as a curve then we can say that body is moving with a variable velocity please note number one velocity of a body at any instance can be obtained by finding the slope of the tangent drawn at that point number two so as the slope of a curve is different at different positions, velocity is different at different positions. Now, second type of graph, that is velocity time graph. As discussed earlier, time is taken on x-axis and velocity is taken on y-axis. It can be of three types. Number one, when body is moving with uniform velocity. Number two, when body is moving with uniform acceleration and number three graph for a free fall and rise of a body number one when a body is moving with uniform velocity uniform velocity means velocity remains constant with time for example a bullock cart is moving with a constant speed of 30 meter per second that means at one second speed is 30 meter per second at two second three second four second etc speed is 30 meter per second speed does not change then we can see that while plotting a velocity time graph it will be a straight line parallel to x-axis please note the following points number one if velocity time graph is a straight line parallel to x-axis, the body will be moving with a uniform velocity. Number two, the velocity time graph can never be a straight line parallel to the y-axis because such a line would mean that velocity increases without any increase in time, which is not possible. Now, number two, when a body is moving with uniform acceleration. Uniform acceleration means equal change in velocity in equal interval of time. For example, a racing car's velocity increases uniformly when the racing starts. That means at one second velocity is 50 km per hour, at 2 seconds velocity is 100 km per hour and at 3 seconds velocity increases 150 km per hour. You can see that every second the velocity of the car increases uniformly that is 50 km per hour increases. So if we plot a velocity time graph it will be a straight line inclined to x-axis and if the velocity decreases uniformly, then the graph will be a straight line inclined to x-axis with a negative slope. Please remember these points. Number one, if a velocity time graph is a straight line inclined to the x-axis with a positive slope, body is moving with uniform acceleration. Number two, if a velocity time graph is a straight line 
inclined to the x axis with a negative slope body is moving with uniform retardation number 3 on velocity time graph larger the slope that is more inclined is the straight line higher is the acceleration or retardation number 4 if the body is initially moving with a constant velocity and then accelerates then velocity time graph will start from the point on the y axis corresponding to the initial velocity of the body now number 3 graph for free fall and rise of a body for example if a ball initially at rest falls down vertically with its velocity increasing uniformly for 5 seconds acquiring a final velocity of 50 meter per second already we have studied in previous point about uniformly accelerated motion and we know that it will be a straight line inclined to x axis now after hitting the ground ball rises vertically upwards to the same height with velocity decreasing uniformly so in this case velocity time graph is like this you can see that in the graph a b represents downward journey that is increase in velocity please note down on touching the ground as velocity becomes zero we can't plot a continuous graph so we show rise of body in fourth quadrant now in the fourth quadrant line cd in the graph shows rise of body as it reaches to the starting point the total displacement of body is zero please do remember some of the important points number one slope of the straight line or the tangent to the curve at any instant gives the acceleration at that instant number two the area enclosed between the velocity time sketch and the time axis for a certain time interval gives the displacement in that interval of time number three area above the time axis gives positive displacement and area below the time axis gives negative displacement in short please do remember we can find two things from velocity time graph that is number one acceleration by finding the slope and number two displacement by finding area now the third and final type of graph that is acceleration time graph we know as always time is plotted on x axis and acceleration is plotted on y axis it can be of three types number one when body is having zero acceleration number two when body is having constant acceleration and number three when body is having constant retardation number one when body is having zero acceleration it happens when a body is at rest or body is moving with uniform velocity then graph is a straight line coinciding with the time axis as you can see now second point when body is having constant acceleration constant acceleration means if velocity of a body increases uniformly for example an apple falling to ground due to gravity in such case acceleration time graph is a straight line parallel to x axis on the positive side of y axis now number three when body is having constant retardation constant retardation means velocity of a body is decreasing constantly then acceleration time graph is a straight line parallel to time axis on the negative side of y axis for example a ball is thrown upwards and moving against gravity let us conclude remember these points number one from displacement time graph we can find velocity by finding the slope number two from velocity time graph we can find two things number one displacement by finding area number two acceleration by finding the slope number three from acceleration time graph we can find 
change in velocity by finding the area so that is the end of today's class thank you have a great day may god bless you all